Hello guys, it's Carmelo. I just came from work. Uh, I had to go to work at 3. I started working at 3. It ended right now at 9. And at 1 o'clock, it was the release of the trailer for Assassin's Creed 3. Now, I went to my GameStop. I asked them, hey guys, you know, uh, can I reserve Assassin's Creed? The guy that attended me didn't know that uh, it was already ready to be um, pre-ordered. So I pre-ordered it. I put 10 bucks on it because I don't like putting 5 bucks. You know, that's just dumb. And about 15, 20 minutes after I left GameStop, uh, when I went to go to work, the guy that attended me from GameStop, which is a cool guy, he's, he's a friend of mine. Well, everyone at GameStop is a friend of mine. And uh, he gave me this. This is the steel box uh, that was announced at the end of the trailer. Now, it, com it doesn't come like this. I took it out of the wrapping. But it does, it is exactly like this. It is metal. And on the back of it, there's this announcement. Pre-order only, game not included, Assassin's Creed 3, available at fall 2012, there's the flag, flag has 13 stars, which means the game does take place during uh, the American Revolutionary War, which roughly takes place 1750, 1783, 84, 85. Around 1780. I'm sorry. Uh, I got a B in history class, so give me a break. I do know that in December, in 1763, I'm not mistaken, was the Boston Tea Party in Boston. Now, if we're going to see that in this game, I know there's going to be a shitload of people that are going to look at it and they're going to say, holy shit, that's what happened. That's why we say Boston Tea Party. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the rest of this bad boy. This is the back of the steel booklet. Again, you see the assassin. You see the flag. 13 flags. Now, I'm going to tell you about the weaponry this badass has. You see a flint gun here. I'm sorry. Here. This is the axe. Which has... The form of the A of the Assassins, yes. And you see the bow and arrow. Arrows in the shoulder, bows in the back. Now, in the back, we see a sword. We see another flintlock. And this is the holster for the empty flintlock. Now, what I do not see from this Assassin. I do not see the hidden blade. Now, this might be a cover slash concept art, I know, but it did kind of hit me really hard to see this cover with the assassin on it looking badass without the hidden blades. I mean, shit. The hidden blade in Assassin's Creed is like asking for a hamburger and only getting the meat and not the buns. That's just sad. <laughs> when you open it up, open it's empty yes it's empty you see the flag you see a bunch of people sticks standing up whatever you see a couple of birds oh look an eagle and yes you see the flag again the the, the american flag you know 13 stars oh crap there it is this is my assassin's creed pre-order item this is a cool item now, if there is going to be a collector, I don't know. They're going to tell us in a couple of months. But hopefully, there's going to be a collector for this game. I haven't bought the collector's edition for Revelations because, well, the European uh, collectors kind of suck. If there's a collector in this game, I really can't wait what it is. Is it a mini ask? Is it a flintlock? Hopefully, a flintlock. <laughs> Well, there it is. This is my 
pre-order Assassin's Creed box. Assassin's Creed 3. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care.